In today's video, we're gonna cover some of the latest Blender add-ons that you probably missed. So grab a coffee, relax, and enjoy the video. First, we're gonna start things off light with a light control add-on. Light control is a very simple yet powerful and effective add-on. It expands the functionality of lights in Blender, which will guarantee that you will save yourself a lot of time. Not only that, but it will also make your life easier and even fun when it comes to lighting your scenes. What this add-on offers is simply a streamlined workflow where you can enter a separate editing mode only for lighting using only shortcuts and hotkeys in addition to some advanced functionalities which allow you to create really beautiful lighting and you can do this for your projects in a matter of just minutes. The add-on itself is well put together. Sometimes with these Blender add-ons, you feel like it is a bit rough around the edges, but this one feels pretty polished. The documentations are great and everything is accompanied by text prompts, so you can never feel like you are lost. But if lighting is not your cup of tea, then this next add-on might be for you. This one is specifically created for modelers, character artists, and 3D professionals like game developers in addition to 3D enthusiasts. Quad Pen Retopology is a brush-based quad drawing tool, which is a fancy way of saying drawing squares. As a character modeler, you always need a way to retopologize your high-res models. Even better, if you can do it automatically, but we are a bit far from a fully automated retopologizing system that would nail a character retopology just right. But a sweet medium would be a tool like this, which helps you to automate most of the heavy lifting by allowing you to just guide the process by using a multifunctional and robust method of guiding the topology and leaving the software to fill the blanks. Now, I know that some of you are thinking, why can't I just use the traditional Blender Read topology workflow with B surfaces, F2, and Loop Tools add-on? Well, first, QuadPen is just one complete tool. That's for starters. Secondly, the add-on offers a long list of features such as, but not limited to, fast quad generation, intelligent edge flow, smart merge, real-time preview, an easy and customizable brush, in addition to a really user-friendly interface. Now, if you want to save time and speed up your workflow, you might want to check this one, because it's going to help you become more productive. But do you know what else is more productive? That's right, a tool that would generate something for you without doing a thing. And it doesn't get more productive than that. The tool has two generators. The first is called Sci-Fi Panel Generator, which helps you create sci-fi panels for hard surface models quickly. It packs more than 20 plus different panel styles to choose from and experiment with, and the developer is promising to include more content in the future. The premise of the add-on is really simple. You have a bare empty surface and you want to make it more interesting. Just apply one of the many styles it offers, and after applying the style, you can adjust the look and the distribution of the details. Simple but effective. The add-on is also free, so you have no reason not to grab it. So links will be in the description, of course. The second generator is Starship Generator. This one is a bit more specific, although it is still sci-fi oriented. The add-on, as the name suggests, would generate an infinite number of procedurally generated ships to be able to be incorporated in your scene. It's built on geometry nodes, so you can adjust most of the parameters manually. However, the add-on does not have a dedicated interface, which I would have loved to see. Nonetheless, you can change the seed value always from the modifier tab to get a different ship every single time. Also, the spaceships are built using a hierarchical system where there are different collections for big details medium, in addition to small and even for engine boosters. So you can go back to each modifier group and adjust some parameters to your liking. These spaceships are fairly detailed, although I wouldn't put them as a central element in a scene, but they would work great as a background element. Next up, we have render tools. The add-on is a set of tools that allow you to render ID passes and mask render passes with one click, similar to what you have in Corona Render and V-Ray. The add-on is simple. You can either apply random ID colors for each object in the scene by clicking the Apply Random ID Colors button, but you can also assign colors manually through the add-on's window. Furthermore, you can tick the Render Animation option if you are rendering a sequence of images instead of a still image. 
The mask pass can also be rendered for animations. And to render a mask pass, you can select the object or objects that you want and then hit render mask pass. We also have a new add-on called Auto Highlight in Outliner. I have a lot of complaints about Blender, and one of them is having to search for something I select in the Outliner. I remember once trying to select a new joint on a model, and sometimes I keep looking for a few minutes, scratching my head where the damn flipping joint is. So this add-on will expand each item you select and highlight it automatically in the Outliner, so you don't have to keep searching through all the collections. And while there is a functionality to toggle selected objects in Blender by default, the add-on option, once it is activated, can save you a bit of time each time and it happens automatically. So if you guys think that these add-ons are interesting, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to this channel because it is free. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.